Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize printability using your page layout settings. So something I like to make sure of before I send somebody a spreadsheet that I've created is I want to make sure that if they choose to print it, that they're going to be able to do that without having to make any adjustments. I'm going to assume that maybe uh, that could be challenging to them and I want it to look its best, especially if I'm sending it to a client. So the way to do that is first thing, you want to take a look at what you have on your sheet here. So this might fit on the page. Uh, it might not. I don't know. Um, so the first way to find out is to do a, uh, a print preview. So up here in your uh, quick task bar, uh, you've got some items up here. And one that I like to add is uh, print, uh, print preview and print. So just click on this to check it to add that there. So what you can do by this is just click on this and take a look at what content how it looks on here. So what we can see is that some of this content fits, but it's on two pages. So that tells me that I should have this uh, in landscape mode instead of portrait. Also, I kind of like to have the grid lines on there so it's easy to see where these numbers line up, especially because there's spaces between them. So now that I've seen how this lays out, I'm going to click on this back arrow and take a look at my page. Now what that's done now is it's put that dashed line here so I can see where the page breaks. Um, I can shrink it down, I can do whatever I want to try to make it fit better on the page, but there's a really easy way to do that and that's by using the print the page layout tab here. So what I can do here is first thing I want to do is I want to change the orientation. So I want to make it landscape. So I'm going to click on this arrow and I'm going to choose landscape. So this may or may not fit all my content. And as you can see, that dashed line moved right here. So if we look at a print preview, we're going to see it's still two pages. It can, it just couldn't get that last row on there. So what I'm going to do to make this easier is I can go ahead and adjust the width of all of these columns if I want to. Um, you just select all of them, you can slide it, or you can right click and um, adjust the column width right here. Or something that I prefer to do, especially if I'm not going to be really adding anything else to this uh, spreadsheet column wise, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width. So right now it's automatic. That means it's going to spread out to as many pages as it needs to to fit this um, nicely on, this, on a page, okay? So, um, but that's not so nice. Uh, you might have a bunch of random pages that you can't keep track of. So to get it to just be one page, I'm going to select that from right here. So the width, I want it to be one page. So what that's going to do is that is going to put this information to put it all onto one page. Now I can see that by clicking on here again on my print preview. So you can see down here it says one of one. So I have fit all of my uh, data onto one sheet. Now if I have more data moving down um, that I don't mind being on the second page, I can. Uh, we can see where the page breaks with this this dashed line right there. Um, but I'm going to leave the height at automatic because I, I don't need to restrain that to just one page, although I can do that if I decide to. Um, if you want to adjust the margins, you can do so right here. So by default, I have them at three quarters of an inch uh, on top and bottom and then uh, seven tenths of an inch on left and right. But what I can do is I can make them wider, I can make them narrower, or make my own custom margins by entering um, my data right there. Um, but I'm just going to leave the margins as is. Now to add those grid lines that, that I wanted to see, that's really simple. It's on this tab as well. So what we can see right here is we have grid lines and headings. So um, headings is these columns and everything here. So if I want those gone, I can remove those or I can add them. Or if I want these column headings included in what I print, I can check this box here. If I want the grid lines, same thing. I can remove them by unchecking view or checking it again. And now if I want to print these grid lines, I can click on print. So what this is going to do is this is going to show all of this exactly how I see it on here. So let's take a look by clicking on print preview. So as you can see, I've got the grid lines in here. I have the, the uh, column headers and the row headers. So if you were to take this into a meeting and you didn't have any any specific headings up here on their own, you could easily refer to, oh, it's cell F10 and let everybody locate it at the same time easily. 
So again, if I want to remove that, I can do so right here, and you'll see now it's gone. So that way you've got a nice, a nice uh, page to print out with all of your data. Makes it really easy for whoever you're sending it to to easily print it and have it ready to go without having to hassle with adjusting column widths and potentially screwing up the data that you've put in here. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials. Check out my website at Simple Software Tutorials and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.